Hi, welcome to the Night Farmhouse. I'm Leanne, and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. If that sort of thing interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow, and I sure do appreciate it. Today, we're participating in August Jamboree, hosted by Mary Ellen at Prepper Potpourri. And we have 22 channels in this collaboration, and I'm gonna drop the playlist down below and make sure you're commenting on everybody's video because you, each channel is giving away two $50 gift cards for four jar lids. And I love four jar lids because they're good quality and I've had no fails since I started using them last week and I've done over 100 jars. And that's saying something because before that, I've had a couple fails using other brand name lids. I like how you can get them in a 100 count box instead of 12 at a time. That saves on the environment right there. And saving the environment is important to me. And wait to the end of the video to find out how you can win my two $50 gift cards or coupons to four jar lids. Today we'll be using three different jams and three different recipes for one great meal. My husband absolutely loved last night. We're gonna take cherry jam and make it into a creamy cherry stuffed pork loin with a cherry glaze. We're gonna take sweet onion jam and add it to our mashed potatoes to kick it up a notch. We're gonna take strawberry lemonade marmalade and turn it into a salad dressing for our salad. Let's get started, shall we? For our filling, we're gonna need a half a teaspoon of olive oil, a half a small mild onion or shallot, a half a cup of cherry jam, and a brick of cream cheese. To get started, you want to get a small saucepan on medium-low heat and add your olive oil and get that hot. Then we're going to add our onions. And we're going to let the onions heat through for one to two minutes. Then add half of the jar of cherry jam into the saucepan and let that cook three to five minutes and then you will have a nice thin sauce. And after five minutes, your mixture should be done. So place it in a bowl and set it aside. Now we're going to butterfly the pork. And I highly recommend putting a cookie sheet underneath your cutting board just to prevent a mess. And to be transparent, I've never done this before. So let's hope I do it right, shall we? And looking back now, I should have used saran wrap to begin with to cover up the juices from splashing up. I think I was just frustrated more than anything just because I was getting in my head. I do that from time to time. And make sure you pound it thinner than I did because after two hours, it will still not done. And now we're going to spread that cream cheese all over this piece of meat and get it in all in the nooks and crannies. Then we're going to pour the jam mixture all over the meat. Then it's time to roll it up and tie it up with kitchen twine. I got this recipe from imahomesteader.net and I'll link that recipe down below for you. On a preheated cast iron skillet that's well greased, you want to sear that off. That way you get a head start in cooking and when you sear it, the crust forms and it adds flavor to your roast. Then we're going to roast it in the oven or you could do the slow cooker. Either way, just make sure you cook it the whole way through to 165 Fahrenheit. I like to cook my pork low and slow. I'm doing this at 325 Fahrenheit for two hours. Then you want to add salt and pepper. I love this farm dust seasoning. It is amazing. I think I've been using it two or three months now and we put it on everything. Vegetables, meat, french fries, 
It's so good. Let's make the strawberry vinaigrette dressing. You'll need a half cup of olive oil, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of strawberry jam, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. A half a cup of oil. One, two, three. Apple cider vinegar, quarter teaspoon of salt, and one eighth of black pepper. And for the star of the show, the marmalade. And we're gonna put three tablespoons of this in. We're just gonna blend. that into our vessel that we're going to store it in the refrigerator with. I like to use mason jars that I can't use anymore. I'm going to place a lid on this and I think it's the lighting but this video is not giving this justice. This is definitely pink. All right this going in the refrigerator until we eat. When your potatoes are finally cooked through, I add my milk and my butter and we're going to add the jam in here and just get it heated thoroughly. I like to heat up my milk just to keep my potatoes from getting colder faster because I really can't stand cold potatoes. It is like my one of my pet peeves. As you notice, I don't measure my milk or my butter or my salt, so taste accordingly. And you definitely need salt with your sugar in these mashed potatoes. The, the salt just balances it out. I've made you a plate when you come and buy. We got the creamy cherry stuffed pork loin with the cherry glaze. And here's a bite for you. With the onion jam mashed potatoes, and your strawberry vinaigrette dressing on this delicious salad. I couldn't eat it in front of you because I can't eat pretty. Now if you want to be entered in this four jar lids giveaway, I want you to add a comment down below with the word jam in your comment. Whether you love jam, which kind of jam you love, how you use it, or any way you use jam in a recipe. Let me know how you use jam. Deadline to get your comment entered would be August 31st, and I'll do the drawing September 1st. Well, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by the farmhouse, and remember, God gave you a great day. Now go do something great with it. All very good.